Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're having a look at this pin gear drive. So we're going to build the components, going to add in the joints, and we're going to animate it to see how it interacts. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to start our pin gear drive by drawing this base piece. So you can see it's got a 10 millimeter hole and a 20 millimeter, well that's going to be a shaft and a 72 or 74.2 millimeters apart. So let's do that and extrude it up 10 millimeters. We'll begin with a sketch on the top plane, C for center diameter circle. I'll make this one 10 millimeters, move across make another one 20 millimeters. Now I've done this off so we can, I can show you the vertical constraint, horizontal vertical. Click on there and that's going to straighten it up for us. And then the distance between them was 74.2 millimeters. So we can see it's fully constrained now. If we look at the drawing we can see the outer perimeter of it. So we've got this bit that runs around the outside, I can see it's 104.05 millimeters. I'm just going to do that and get some circles that approximate that. I'm going to draw a construction line, L for line, change the construction type, and make this 104.5. So we can just move this across, get it roughly centered, and a center diameter circle that fits on there and then we'll draw, draw another one over there. So this doesn't have to be exact, you can see as I move it it adjusts it. This is just a guideline. What we're really interested in is these inner circles. So I'm going to go L line tool, just draw a line across there, I'll draw another one across the bottom and then I'm going to make this line tangent to that circle and the other circle. And then we can T for trim. I'm going to trim these bits on the X outside and this inner bit of the circle. And that's roughly what we had in our drawing. Now we're going to extrude it up 10 millimeters. So there we've got the base. And then we want to do these shafts going up. So let's go have a look at how long they are. We can do these shafts. We've got 10 mils there. 10 mils thickness there plus 50.58 and there's 60.58 so we'll do that 50.58 plus the 10 that's inside and the 10 that's going to be fit, fitting inside our gear so now I'm going to go to the bottom of this create a new sketch on top there on this bottom and just project P for project project these two holes now I can finish sketch and I will extrude these up. This one was, so it's in the negative direction, so negative 50.58, minus 10, and minus 10 again. And then that would be the full distance, but I made a mistake there. I wanted to make that a new body, because it's going to be a new piece. It's not going to be part of the base. I'll do the same thing over there, extrude, we'll turn this sketch back on, and we want that up to go negative 60.58, minus 10, minus 10, so that one's slightly higher, let's just go double check those figures, so that looks correct. What we're going to do now is we're going to draw these two circles, so we'll start off with this circle, and then we'll draw the pins, there's 15 pins, they have eight millimeter diameter and they're 44 millimeters from the center their center so we'll start with a hundred millimeter diameter circle and a single pin i'm going to create a sketch on this face over here c for center diameter circle and you can see as we hover over the center it goes around turns into a circle 100 millimeters And I'm wanting to project this, so I just pushed P and project that. Finish sketch. Now we'll extrude this piece. 
uh, minus 10 so it's in the negative direction and it's a new body we'll convert these all to components a bit later on now another sketch on this face and it's going to be C for center diameter circle it's eight millimeters we can kind of put this wherever we want because I'm gonna set this up 44 millimeters and I'm gonna put a horizontal constraint on this or vertical constraint so you can see now it's fully constrained and then we will extrude this up I didn't actually check let's check how far it goes our drawing doesn't show us exactly how far it goes but if that's 10 that should be about 20 and then we've got that chamfer on the end so I'll add a or fill it sorry so we'll make it a nice round tip and we'll go 25 so 25 let's just type in here 25 millimeters and it's a join operation and we will put a fillet on the top it's four millimeters will give us a round tip and then we can go create pattern and circular pattern and we're going to select a feature from the timeline so these two features and the axis will be any one of these circular axes and there were 15 so we'll just keep going up till we get 15 or you could just type in 15 manually then we've got the wheel the base and the shafts now we're going to move on to the drive so when we look at our drive wheel here we can see the, the circle that it's made out of a 25 millimeter radius so that's 50 across um, it's got a four and a half millimeter radius so that would be a nine millimeter diameter circle in there and that's 30 millimeters from the center so i'm just going to get those in place um, draw a little box halfway across and then we can add that one millimeter chamfer or fillet sorry keep saying chamfer instead of fillet um, and then 10 pin slots so we'll circular pattern that 10 times we'll start with the sketch on this face here center diameter circle and 50 millimeters and then what we're going to do is another center diameter circle I'll just put it out here going to be nine millimeters and I will apply the horizontal constraint to it and dimension it 30 millimeters from that point now this line it's actually got a line going through it there at the halfway point and then the line comes down into this part doesn't specify how long the line is so I'm just gonna get rid of this extra bit here and we're gonna try make this uh, even so I'll dimension this six we don't really need it that big so we'll go five and this one also five and now this will be a closed profile inside there I can trim this away and that now we've got that little profile there I can finish sketch I think that's a bit less than the other one was so I'm gonna go back in there change this to seven okay six and a half should have actually just specified this in the drawing but sometimes it's fun just messing around figure it out and then we can put our one millimeter chamfer I mean fill it on there there we go finished sketch now I'm going to do this extrude in two parts I should actually have this line closed off so I'm just closing this profile off straighten that line up and I'm going to do this in two parts reason being I want to pattern the second extrude so we'll extrude this up 10 millimeters negative 10 sorry and it's a new body now we'll turn this sketch on again and we'll extrude this also negative 10 and it's going to be join so we'll have that piece in there 
Now in order to pattern this, let's turn that off. We'll go create pattern, circular pattern. It'll be a feature. The feature will be this extrude and the axis will be this axis. And we want 10 of those. So that looks more or less like our drawing. It's not exactly the same. Um, but we've got all the components that we need now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a bit of color to it. We're going to turn them into components and get them lined up once we've got our joints in. So I'm just going to go S for shortcuts and then type in appearance. And we can put in some colors here. I like a bit of red. We've got an acrylic red there. See, anodized. Can I like granite looks quite cool. We can put that for the base. No, that doesn't look good at all. Um, blue. And no, I'm not happy with that. We'll try a metallic blue. Looks a bit better. And for the base, we will go black. So let's see what blacks do we have already downloaded. I like this black chrome. Let's, let's download that quick. And then we'll drag it across. So that's the black on our base. But if you see here, I realize this extrude and this one are separate. So I made this one a new component. And I realized I actually don't need that additional one or I don't need that to be separate. So I'm gonna use a combine select these two and there we go now it's one body so if I have to go into bodies and turn this one off and see so they all got the they're all going to get the same color and black chrome there we go we can turn our sketches off we're done with them for now I'm going to select these bodies select all of them right click and create components from bodies would like to name them call it drive gear pin gear and this can be base so what we're going to do now is add a couple of um, joints to them so i'm going to click over our joints. That's the reason why I changed it to a component because you can't put a joint on a body. It needs to be a component. So I went into joints and I'm selecting a revolute joint and we will be selecting this and this body. So now let's see, does it, is it correct? Sometimes I get these wrong and I don't Okay, so that's wrong. I also forgot I need to ground that piece. So the base, we're going to right click there and click ground. So I'm going to delete this joint, go back in, joint, motion, make sure it's revolute. And we'll select the components. Now it's letting me select the correct components. So because the bottom one is grounded, it won't rotate. So now if I go back in and animate joint, I can see that wheel moves. And then I'll do the same thing for our other gear, Revolute, select, will be there, and it'll snap to that point. Now if I animate that joint, there it's moving too. So now you can see we can, we're can we able to move these around like this manually, but I want them to interact. So there's two ways to do this. We could either go uh, assemble and create a motion link. So then I'll specify for every one rotation, this does two or whatever the case is. But I'm just gonna go enable all contact. So now what it should do, as I move this, it interacts with anything that's touching. So if it's touching one of the pins from the drive side, it will turn it. This doesn't always work with some more complex things if there's not enough tolerance between them, but it's working now, which is great. So we can go right click, animate joint relationships, and we can see how our components 
interact and turn so it's a basic pin gear drive hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section this uh, technical drawing um, will be in a google drive folder the link will be in the description Till next time, bye.